The electric John Deere 214 is done. It's a quick video walk around. Just got done mounting the new uh, Carlisle tires. Much easier than the last go around. I learned a lot mounting them on the International. I added uh, rubber welting all around the edge. I just think it kind of looks nice and really finishes the tractor. Welded up a receiver hitch for hauling trailers and implements and whatnot around the yard. This is no longer the place for gasoline. Now it's the place to charge the batteries. This is a, a large Anderson connector for charging up the batteries. New reflectors. I was lucky to find them. It's got a uh, 27 and a half foot paint job. I tried spraying it. I just could not keep the pollen out of it this time of year. Uh, this winter I think I will tear it all apart and give it a proper paint job. I made a decal for the uh, shift knob. I think it looks pretty cool. A brand new dash panel. Three toggle switches. The first one turns on a fan if I need it to keep the engine cool. So far I've not needed it at all. The engine barely gets warm. About 10 degrees above ambient. The other one is the uh, front lights. They're all working. This is the battery monitor. You see I've got 37.66 volts and uh, I'm running the uh, tractor on uh, 36 volts and I got 37.6869 volts. That's the temperature of the motor and the red light is just telling me that the power is on. The main power switch or what I refer to as a dead man switch is over here and when that's cycled the light goes off. Everything operates as a normal 214. Variable speed drive, variator works perfect, excellent. It's a great mechanical device that kind of mimics the modern hydraulic tractors. Under the hood, I've got two batteries here. I've got one in the back under the seat, as you saw. That's the contactor. I have a whole video on how this wiring is all set up. You can check that out. I'll put a link below. I picked up another 214 a few days ago and it had a really nice grill. The grill for this tractor was totally smashed. Probably could have been brought back but it was a real mess. This is from an older model. I like it a lot. I made up that decal for the front Simply a vinyl sticker that I put on a piece of plastic and then cut it out. Mounted it with some uh, 3M super bond tape, or very high bond tape, I think they call it. Ordered the decals off a guy on eBay who makes them up on his printer. That's about it. It's done. It runs fabulous. I'll be posting a video of it operating in a little while. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.